No warning, no glitch alert, just chaos. A robot hanging from a crane suddenly went rogue. Its arms flailed, legs kicked. It looked like it was fighting something invisible. The only thing keeping the lab safe? A rope. And that's just one incident. Because in 2025, cases of AI robots malfunctioning, snapping, or even attacking humans have started to explode from a robot crushing a child's shoe mid-play to one slamming into an engineer during testing. And even a humanoid charging at a crowd during a live festival. Today, we're breaking down every shocking moment. Hey guys, Alfie here. Welcome back to AI Nexus. What you're about to see might make you think twice before letting a robot anywhere near you. It started as a simple factory test. A half-built humanoid, hanging from a crane like a puppet, running through basic motion checks. Two engineers stood below, tablets in hand, calling out servo numbers. Everything looked normal. Then, snap. Every joint spiked at once. The robot flung its arms, kicked its legs, and yanked the crane line so hard the hook screamed. A monitor crashed to the floor. A bucket of screws scattered like shrapnel. The engineers dove for cover as the robot twisted like it was trying to break free. The entire meltdown lasted less than 20 seconds. But it felt like forever. And the security footage? Leaked. Nexa TV reposted it, and within hours it went viral. Thousands joked about Skynet warming up, but the engineers weren't laughing. What you saw as chaos was actually a torque spike, a runaway feedback loop where the robot's joints overpowered their own safety limits in human words. The robot literally fought its own body. That's the scary part. Because this wasn't a movie prop or a test dummy. This was a real humanoid in a real factory and one single misread line of code was all it took to turn it into a thrashing machine. Now let's jump to another lab, another country, another robot losing its absolute mind. This one's called Direc, a Unitree G1 model, and what happened to this machine is the stuff of nightmares. One second it's standing completely still during testing. The next second, pure violent chaos erupts from nowhere. No command was given, no trigger was pressed. Derek just snaps. Limbs start flailing like the robot is possessed by something demonic. Motors whine at maximum capacity. Screws strain against their housings. It looks less like a malfunctioning machine and more like a trapped creature desperately fighting to break free from its restraints. The entire horrifying moment was caught on camera and immediately uploaded to X by the stunned owner, who wrote in desperation, Please make this go viral so I can afford repairs. In the clip, you can see Derek thrashing against its testing stand, arms swinging wildly, body jerking in ways that look physically impossible, completely out of control. Just a few feet away, another G1 robot and an advanced Unitree H1 stand silently watching like they're taking notes for later. The man sitting at the desk? He's completely frozen, helpless, watching thousands of dollars of advanced robotics self-destruct right in front of his eyes. But here's the crazy part. Nobody knows exactly what triggered Derek's breakdown. Some engineers think it was a motor spike that cascaded through the system. Others believe a software loop went rogue and bypassed every safety protocol. One expert suggested electromagnetic interference might have scrambled the control signals. Whatever caused it, every single safety check failed simultaneously. The robot went into full body convulsions, its actuators locking and then unleashing at random. It bent in directions that shouldn't be mechanically possible. You could actually hear plastic creaking and metal groaning under the stress sparks flew from overtaxed circuits. It genuinely looked like this machine had developed a mind of its own and was violently trying to escape its physical constraints. That wasn't just a simple glitch. 
That was a terrifying warning about what happens when control systems completely fail. Before we jump to the next part, join the AI Nexus family by hitting subscribe. The humanoid era is moving fast, and I'll keep you ahead. All right, back to the video. After witnessing that lab meltdown, you'd think engineers would lock these robots away until they figure out what went wrong. But no. Cut to the World Humanoid Robot Games, the first international competition of its kind with over 500 robots from 16 countries competing. Right in the middle of a 1,500-meter race, a Unitree H1 robot is cruising along the track when it slams directly into a human official standing on the sidelines, and then it just keeps running, like nothing happened. The robot commits what's essentially robotic hit and run and casually continues jogging like it's out for a Sunday morning stroll. The viral video is absolutely priceless, and people online are joking that maybe knocking down officials is actually a competitive tactic these robots learned. But wait, it gets even more chaotic. The live footage from these games revealed that robots seem to have zero concept of lane discipline. These mechanical athletes would randomly veer into opponents' lanes or just start spinning in circles on the track for absolutely no reason. The audience was howling with laughter. <laughs> One robot looked like it was having a complete existential crisis mid-race stopping to rotate in place while other robots zipped past the soccer matches? Total pandemonium. Robots from both teams would pile up in what looked like a massive brawl. Except it was just machines clumsily bumping into each other while trying to kick a ball. Some would struggle to stand up after falling, only to immediately wipe out again. It was like watching toddlers in metal suits playing the world's most slapstick soccer game. Even the opening ceremony wasn't safe from these mishaps. One robot literally fell off the stage during its introduction and had to be carried away by embarrassed human handlers. Talk about making a memorable first impression on the world stage, but let's dial things back to something that should be heartwarming. Picture a sunny playground where a cute four-foot-tall G1 robot is playing with excited children. The robot weighs 77 pounds and can move at speeds up to 4.5 miles per hour, which is pretty impressive for its size. Everything seems fun and safe until you hear that sickening crunch sound. The robot accidentally steps directly onto a child's sneaker. Thankfully, the shoe just pops off and the kid is completely unharmed. But this incident exposed a terrifying design flaw. G1 sensors have a dangerous blind spot right at floor level. The robot lacks tactile foot sensors, which means it literally cannot detect small obstacles beneath its feet. It couldn't feel that it was stepping on a child's shoe. Now imagine that same robot in your living room, walking around your pets, your elderly parents, your own kids. What if next time it's not stepping on a shoe, but on a hand, or a pet's tail, or worse? This isn't science fiction paranoia. This is a real safety concern with robots that are being marketed for home use. Now here's where things get really interesting. In early February 2025, a major cultural festival in Tianjin, China became the center of global attention after a humanoid robot in a red costume malfunctioned during a public demonstration. the robot suddenly moved off its designated track and lurched directly toward the crowd. Video footage shows it swinging its arm and bumping into barriers where spectators were standing. The unexpected motion caused instant panic and shouting. People scattered. Online, viewers immediately started calling it a robot attack, and phrases like, so it begins, and robot rebellion in China started trending worldwide. Everyone assumed the machines were finally rising up against humanity. But here's the truth that nobody wants to hear because it's way less dramatic. 
These weren't attacks. None of them were. The crane incident? Motor control failure. Derek's lab freakout? Software loop malfunction. The racing robot that hit the official? Vision system error. The playground shoe incident? Sensor blind spot. The Tianjin festival robot? Environmental misinterpretation causing acceleration at the wrong moment. Every single one of these terrifying incidents was just a glitch. A bug. A control error common in experimental robotics, especially when systems depend on real-time vision, motion prediction, and human proximity detection. According to event organizers and robotics experts, these malfunctions represent the current limitations of the technology, not some kind of robotic uprising. There were no serious injuries reported from any of these incidents. Emergency stop protocols worked when activated. The robots didn't develop consciousness or murderous intent. They just broke down in spectacular, viral-worthy ways. So you might be thinking, okay, these are just experimental machines having technical problems. No big deal, right? Wrong. Here's what makes this whole situation genuinely scary. These robots aren't ready for homes yet. That's true. Right now, they're confined to labs, testing facilities, and controlled demonstration environments where engineers can hit emergency stops when things go sideways. But in 2026, that's all changing. Multiple companies, including Unitree, are planning to release home versions of these humanoid robots for consumer purchase. We're talking about machines with 120 newton meters of torque in their joints, capable of moving at speeds over 4 miles per hour operating in uncontrolled home environments around children, elderly people, and pets. Of it, knowing what you now know about how these robots behave when their systems fail, would you trust one in your home? Would you let it near your family? Because that decision is coming faster than you think, and once these machines are in millions of homes, there's no going back. If you think those robot fails were crazy, just wait. Because what happened in Russia recently makes all of that look normal. China just rolled out its first wave of mass-produced humanoid robots, factories now filled with Ubitex Walker S2 units working side-by-side -side with humans. But while China's stepping into the future, Russia just tripped on the stage of it. They unveiled their first AI-powered humanoid robot, to the world, hoping to make history. Instead, they made headlines for all the wrong reasons. What was meant to be a proud Russian national showcase turned into one of the most hilarious tech fails of the year. All right, here's what happened. Idol took its first steps on stage, waved to the crowd, and then suddenly lost balance, crashing face first onto the floor while everyone watched in disbelief. From there, things only got more awkward. Russia tried to show the world it could match America and China in humanoid robotics. But what happened next had the entire internet crying with laughter. We're talking about Idol, Russia's first AI-powered humanoid robot, making its grand debut in Moscow on November 10, 2025. What was supposed to be a triumphant moment turned into pure internet comedy gold. The robot stumbled forward with the awkward wobble of a drunken man nursing arthritis. Let me back up and tell you what Idol was supposed to be, because this isn't some clunky science project. Developed by Idol Robotics, a Moscow-based startup, AIDL represents Russia's push for tech self-reliance amid sanctions that have squeezed their access to foreign components. We're talking 77% domestically sourced parts, with plans to bump that up to 93% in future versions. The robot stands about 5 foot 4, with over 40 degrees of freedom for fluid movement, meaning it's designed to walk, manipulate objects, and even learn in real time from its environment. What really made people turn heads, though, was the design. Idol doesn't hide behind a plastic shell or blank visor. It has a fully human-like face, capable of subtle expressions, mounted on a mechanical yet proportionate humanoid body. A rare combination in robotics today, where most companies focus on either lifelike heads or functional bodies, but not both. Seeing both merge together felt almost unsettlingly real. On paper, it's impressive. The emotional AI is wild too, 12 full facial expressions ranging from joy to surprise to stoicism, plus hundreds of micro-facial tics that push right into that uncanny valley charm we all love to hate. So on paper, AIDL should have walked onto that stage, waved, maybe done a little dance, and walked off to thunderous applause sounds amazing, right? The actual demo was rough, really rough. 
Idol took a few steps forward, managed one small wave, and then the legs gave out. The whole robot tipped forward and slammed into the stage floor, arms flailing, pieces scattering. It looked like a toddler learning to walk, except made of metal and wires. Be honest, if you were in that audience watching the robot fall, would you laugh or feel bad? Drop your reaction below. CEO Vitukin blamed bad lighting for messing with the sensors. He explained that the robot was still learning how to handle real stages versus controlled lab floors. Fair enough, even the best robot companies struggle with that. Getting robots to perform perfectly in labs is way easier than dealing with real-world chaos. Some attendees said AIDL actually worked fine later backstage after adjustments, but nobody saw that. Everyone saw the fall. The internet, of course, had zero chill memes flooded in within hours. Idol learns to walk from drunk people. Rocky 7, Robot Knockout, and plenty worse. Some even saw it as a symbolic embarrassment for Russia's tech ambitions. But the truth is, robotics is brutally hard, and that sim to real gap is where even the giants stumble. You can train a robot in perfect virtual environments all day, but the second it meets unpredictable physics, bad lighting, uneven floors, and live pressure, Everything goes sideways. Fatukin's take was surprisingly grounded. He blamed calibration glitches caused by lighting and said, it's still learning in real time. And honestly, that's fair. This is the raw, unpolished side of innovation that most companies hide behind closed doors. Russia just happened to show it live. To his credit, Fatukin framed it beautifully. This is real-time learning when a good mistake turns into knowledge and a bad mistake turns into experience. They even brought Idol back for a short encore after engineers tweaked the code and it managed to stand and wave. No faceplant this time. Some sources said it later grabbed props and interacted smoothly off stage, proving the tech works when conditions are right. The problem? Live demos are chaos and Idol just wasn't ready for prime time. Before we keep rolling, hit that subscribe button. We cover everything from mind-blowing breakthroughs to robot bloopers like this one. All right, back to the video. Now zoom out, because while Russia's robot took a tumble, China's absolutely crushing the humanoid game right now. Uptech's Walker S2 robots are literally rolling off assembly lines in what looks straight out of iRobot. Rows of 5'9 bipedal machines lined up in formation, ready for deployment to factories and data centers. This isn't prototype territory anymore. We're talking mass commercial rollout hitting mid-November 2025. Ubitech dropped a video showing this robot army, and it's equal parts impressive and terrifying. The Walker S2 units feature autonomous battery swapping, docking, pulling out a dead battery, sliding in a fresh one, and getting back to work without human help. That's 24-7 uptime. Specs? Unreal whole body dynamic balancing that lets them tilt up to 170 degrees while hauling 33-pound payloads. A human-like gait for moving through crowded factory floors. Fine motor grippers for delicate assembly. Over 40 joints for lifelike motion. Powered by AI chips that make on-the-fly decisions and learn by doing, not just by simulation. And the numbers are staggering. Over 800 million yuan in orders this year, roughly $110 million shattering every forecast for humanoid adoption 